Black Mamba vs Anaconda The green anaconda is a giant semi-aquatic snake found in South America and is the heaviest and one of the longest known extant snake species in the world. It is a non-venomous constrictor, like all boars. Constrictors do not have venom. They do not kill prey by injecting venom into it through a bite. Constrictors, on the other hand, wrap their bodies around their prey and squeeze until it stops breathing. The black mamba is a long, venomous snake found in sub-Saharan Africa. It is one of the deadliest snakes on the planet and one of the fastest land snakes. The snake, despite its name, is not black at all. The name black mamba refers to the black color inside the snake's mouth. Size and weight. Anacondas can grow to be 30 feet, 9 meters, long and weigh 550 pounds, 250 kilograms. Black mambas are Africa's longest venomous snakes, reaching up to 14 feet in length, though 8.2 feet is more common, and weighing up to 3.5 pounds, 1.6 kilograms. Speed. On land, a green anaconda can move at 5 miles per hour, 8 kilometers per hour, and underwater at 10 miles per hour, 16 kilometers per hour. The black mamba is the fastest land snake on the planet, reaching speeds of up to 12.5 miles per hour, 20 kilometers per hour. Fighting technique. If a black mamba needs to attack in order to defend itself, it will strike repeatedly, injecting large doses of venom with each strike, and hiss loudly. Then they'll slither away as quickly as they can, allowing its potent venom to do its work. This protects the black mamba's body from injury and harm, and most prey dies within an hour. Anacondas kill by squeezing their prey until they are unable to breathe on their own. They occasionally drown their prey. They swallow their prey whole, just like other snakes do. A fight between the two is uncommon because they live in different geographical areas. Who would win if both snakes lived in the same region and fought? The anaconda is larger, thicker, and more powerful. Indeed, just by looking at the two, we could easily conclude that the great anaconda would simply squeeze the black mamba to death, emerging victorious in a battle to the death. Should we ignore the small mamba simply because of its size? Never. Keep in mind that the black mamba has two significant advantages, deadly venom and speed. Black mambas are extremely dangerous and aggressive, and have been linked to numerous human deaths. If the black mamba was successful in biting the anaconda and escaping, the larger snake would die from the venomous bite. The black mamba would win in this case. However, there is a high chance that the fight would end in a tie and both would die. The venomous snake could injure and eject venom into an anaconda with a single bite. The venom would take some time to take effect. This would give the anaconda enough time to strangle the black mamba to death. The anaconda would win the physical fight quickly, but it would later die from the black mamba's venomous bite. Let us know what you think in the comment section, who do you think would win between the two in a fight to the death?